Hello and welcome to part two of uh, building a shelf space draw system for the 2010 Toyota Fortuner. Today we're going to get into the nitty gritties, the details, uh, the covering of it with carpeting, foam. I hope we can get through all of that today. But in the meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed the first version. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel right here on the Gift of Life Adventure. So in this second episode, part two of uh, making a drawer system for the uh, 2010 Toyota Fortuner, we're now building the uh, the hinged sleeve, as we call it. It extends the uh, sleeping surface for me, and yet allows me to store things over here, optimizing the use of space. Now, of course, we're going ornamental on it, uh, getting to this side. We're finding shelf space here as well, so maybe we'll create something here and uh, use that space as well. This hinge uh, will support giving us more surface area and will match the other end which will also be curved. So a little aesthetics. Alam's the uh, artist over here. Uh, uh, kya naam hai ji aapka? Nisar Ahmad. Nisar Ahmad, Alam's assistant. Both of them total craftsmen. And to give you all a sense of uh, what we're trying to fit, all of this that's in here that looks like this, hopefully will have its own little spaces and can be easily retrieved because of the compartmentalization of the uh, drawer spaces. So yeah, it's kind of messy here, but hopefully it'll be a lot neater. This is the unit where the uh, safety box goes in and obviously is going to be covered so that it's not visible from the outside. And that's the lock box. What you generally find in a hotel room. So this just increased the surface area of the sleeping space by well, another few inches. Uh, this hinge is the wrong hinge, so we're just putting this temporarily. What needs to happen is the hinge going invisible, so that when it opens, it does open this way, and uh, this gives me some storage on the side. But when it closes, this has to be flat, because sleeping on this may not be the most comfortable, uh, if there's two of them as well, especially. So, yeah. These are the details, so this is temporary for now. So detailing out the uh, sizing of fitting all of these in perfectly is what's delaying and taking time. But like I said, the devil lies in the details. So this thing is coming along. Uh, this is what is going to look like really flat. Of course, the finish has to be done. And this is just placing everything in, in uh, where it's supposed to be placed. And then it'll all come out, screwed in tightly, finished, and then, of course, carpeted to match the carpet down there in black. And it'll look pretty cool and foam on top. Let's see how that turns out. So we're doing some finishing touches on the aesthetics and you wonder how the uh, ply is bent. Well, they're going to make, you know, he cuts it almost fully and uses it like an accordion and bends it over just like that. So let's watch this happen. So that's how it's bent into the shape that's needed. Just regular ply cut evenly and that goes on the inside of where it's supposed to be.
slowly trimming and cutting it to shape of all the contours of the car and the insides to be able to this is the, the toughest of the work actually so this side is almost complete try to open this um, it's a little too safe speaking of the safe that's what's in here it's a strong box So this is what the finish is going to look like. Of course, all of this will be carpeted. So all you will see is just black and more black. Those surfaces will be aligned. So now we're at the stage where we're making uh, the drawer inside, the, what, the real actual drawer when we keep saying drawer system. And these, uh, these railings over here, they are heavy duty. They take in about 200 kilos of weight. They're rated for 200 kilos because this is going to be a really heavy box once the things get in there. And the things that we have in there are quite heavy. And it is, you'll see how thick the uh, counterpart for that is. All ball bearings. These are imported, uh, well, bought in India, of course, but built for this purpose. And now we're going to fit it right in. It's a really heavy box. Sturdy. All of this will be covered in carpeting, just so it reduces the noise levels. And it's designed to fit right in, and it's, it's not as smooth as it should be, but it should essentially look like this. So it go, goes in telescopically, comes right out and this is as far as it will go and essentially what will happen is we have boxes in here uh, different sizes it could be this size and you know a, a slatted line over here with squares that we can put maybe maybe not uh, this doesn't look like too much room so we'll just leave it uncluttered but it'll have a tabletop covering so this way we can use this as a countertop as well So this is coming uh, coming along pretty well. That's the drawer system that you saw from the front and it comes and ends at this point. And when this shuts in, uh, this is the sleeping platform extension up here. And there will be a similar extension on this side so this whole area will become quite flat and the bottom of course can be used for more storage. A lot of you ask me if uh, this is allowed. I don't know it's disallowed because this is a private vehicle. It is the interior of the private vehicle. And uh, yes, the RC book says that it's a seven seater, which means it's rated for seven seats. A lot of us take out the seats. When we take out the seats, we just can't have more than seven people sitting in this car. And that's what it really means uh, as a seven seater. And I'm choosing to have two, and that's my choice. And the rest of it, I want storage. And uh, I'm allowed to store my personal property in here. And this is not a commercial, uh, uh, you know, transport vehicle. So, yeah, I think we should be good. So the actual drawer is getting... It's... I wouldn't say final touches, but... It's still got to fit a handle on it. We need to change the screws of the uh, rollers. Like this screw is not meant to be used. We need a we need a flat head screw so that it's flat against the surface over there, so it doesn't create an ob a, a obstruction to the smooth uh, 
functioning of the roller. Hello and thanks for watching this episode, part two of building a drawer system for Gulfy behind me. We still have a lot of detailing to do, including putting out the carpet. So today at the end of day, we've only got that far where we've got everything level, the drawer's been built, uh, got more wood over here to make more things, uh, little, little detailed things. Uh, now we have to make a little case for that uh, picnic table which is right there and in the next episode we'll get into the detailing which will happen tomorrow so uh, keep watching thanks for watching this don't forget to subscribe to this channel because your subscription will mean a lot for the uh, effort of the gift of life adventure foundation uh, because we drive around the world for organ donation awareness so this is the box that we've made to hold the picnic table, which was first, if you notice in episode one, it was actually made on, on this side over here. And now we moved the idea of putting it over here. So we've used this space optimally. And uh, obviously all of this will be foam padded so that if it rubs against anything, it's not going to have an impact of uh, erosion of that surface area. And that's the plan. So it's slowly coming through. We'll hope everything gets done today and tomorrow we can start uh, carpeting this whole thing. So yeah. So this is where the picnic table is going to get uh, positioned. But if you see all the way through, there's a tunnel effect over there. So we're going to actually leave that tunnel open to get into the front so that there is uh, room for circulation of the hot air that comes out of the compressor of the uh, refrigerator. And um, yeah, it keeps everything on the uh, cool and cool. So, next is what? Stay tuned. So the final frontier on the uh, construction part is that this is where the uh, picnic table, that will firmly sit without it being, you know, shaken or stirred like the James Bond martini. Because that's the only sound I keep hearing when I drive is this thing moving around. So the major construction is now over. Now comes all the detailing, as you can see. This is all done. The platform is done. And that's how she sits. Of course, this will be carpeted foamed and a little more compact than this and that's the carpet and the foam right here so we've now brought the brought Gulfi to a warehouse which literally is a furniture sofa making warehouse and it's you will never know this thing even exists so we're going to bring all of this out carpet it, clean it, and then put it back in. And here's what the warehouse looks like. We're in the back of the beyond. This is where, I guess, a lot of the migrant workers that left would find, uh, at least the carpenters would find uh, employment. This is where the sofas are made, inside here. So the sofas are being made. And it's our picnic table. This is phase two of all the work that has to go inside. So this is a long line of carpenters who fix old furnitures, make new ones. And since we are making furniture for inside the car, the car is brought here. So everything that's been made has been removed again. So now we've kind of positioned all of it. We know where it goes, but now we've taken it all out. These are three pieces of furniture, not necessarily completing my requirement for storage, but what it does is it gives me a platform to sleep on and then I can obviously store things on top of that platform when I'm not using it to sleep. So that's all of what was made uh, that fits into Gulfy. A uh, combined weight of probably another 150 kilos. Of course, we've taken out the seat, so 
I think uh, net net uh, Gulfy should be lighter with no load on it yet with just this furniture as opposed to the two row seating. So now we've brought all of that that we've made. I mean, he, this is what we've made for the pieces that come together and create the platform. And now what's happening is we're putting all the foam lining inside before the carpet goes onto it. Eventually, uh, this is to dampen the sounds if there are things that are moving around inside. And uh, obviously for the look of things, there everything will be black carpeted. So it matches the interior of the car from an aesthetic standpoint and also from a, a noise cancellation standpoint. It, it dampens the sounds that don't jump around in the car and echo. Uh, the road noise coming in will just die inside the car, which makes it almost soundproof. Uh, Gulfi is also soundproofed in the door panels and the roof panel. Uh, so this will add to that soundproofing. So now we're putting the foam for the uh, picnic table holder, just thicker than the normal one, so it stays snug and doesn't, uh, you know, shake around and make a racket that it did, bringing it over here. So we just got a sense of all the noises that happen, and now we'll just dampen all of those sounds. As you can see, two hands are better than one, and four hands are better than two. Remember, we all did the migrant work of relief work through the Gift of Life Adventure Foundation? Well, this is how they all banded together and lived together and worked together. You can hear in the background, this is their makeshift kitchen right at the back over there. That's preparing their yummy tasting food. I can smell it. It's uh, it's it smells so good. Now it's time to start putting in the the carpet. This is the carpet that we purchased. That will go around all of the wood that you see. So there will be no wood that will be seen. It's all going to be covered in carpet. And so some areas that are rubbing against either the car body or each other will have, will have the, uh, the foam that you've seen already here installed and uh, yeah hopefully this will be snug and tight and and ready to rock and roll by tomorrow and so now it's time to put the carpeting so I'll show you how it's done in the first piece that's been cut and that's likely to go into the drawer system here the drawer So they're negotiating how to place this long carpet so they wrap it around and not have any cuts inside or should they have cuts inside that's the discussion that's going on so what he's explaining is uh, these are the areas that are going to be rubbing against either the body of the car or something that's valuable enough and so that's why we are going to put in um, some gum Blue. <laughs> Oh, 
All of this work can make Gulfi a lot more comfortable to take on our journeys from now into the future. So this is where we brought Gulfi <laughs> to get all these little finishing touches done into the factory itself. So slow and steady, the carpeting is taking quite a long time, but uh, what is happening is that it's looking beautiful. That's what's happening here. Uh, finally, what's going to end up in here is what's looking like this. It's, this is a sleeping area, so the top is going to be uh, in a one inch thick form, so we won't need a mattress. We just have a sleeping bag on top and that should give us adequate uh, comfort, so to speak. So we have a new feature here for Gulfi. Uh, look, Gulfi looks like it's been on some off-road expedition. Now it's just been driving around the dug up Bangalore and uh, comes out looking like it's been on an adventure. But anyway, <clears throat> the new addition I'm talking about is thanks to my friend Saad Salman. And it is this uh, it's a magnetic mosquito net that, you know, that hooks on to the metallic frame and yes. my clumsy hands. And you just hook it in here and we're ready to go. So this is a, it's, it's magnetic. And if you want to open this out, you can. And instead of putting in the Velcro that we were looking at, uh, this seems to be a far better option and all uh, for all windows this again is a you know, magnetic mosquito net so when we sleep we can always roll the windows down and if you see inside the other two windows also have it and the quarter glass at the back that's a really neat feature that keeps light out and uh, keeps privacy of whatever's inside the uh, inside you know inside the car this by the way uh, Sonia Nichani and the Nichani family have donated uh, a whole bunch of blankets and clothes to uh, give away with the uh, call that the Rotary Club of Bangalore Social, well we still have to sticker it, we just have Rotary there, uh, Rotary Club of Bangalore Social has uh, partnered with us to collect these winter clothes to be given away. So you see, slowly and steadily we're making progress towards the start of this journey. Uh, it's not exactly perfect, but it does the job, I suppose. Most of the carpeting is done. Well, most of it, not all of it, clearly. I can see that there's wood exposed over there. So, uh, today we're going to start mounting, so we know how much space. That's the sleeping surface. There's a one inch foam on it, so I may not have to get a mattress. It's just a sleeping bag that will do the trick. So once the carpeting was, is done and complete, we're going to reassemble all of the parts to make sure they continue to fit as they did without the carpeting because the carpeting will add a little more a few more inches all across, all around, uh, totally, a little bit, little bit, and uh, so the fitting then is going to start changing a little bit. If you see the form here is, is pretty deep because we don't want this to rub against the fridge and damage the fridge. And this, of course, is my is my sleep top. And you do this, uh, you get to some storage on that side, inside. But you swap it down. And this is that other piece. Once fit, there will also uh, be another cover trying to cover up all the staples over there. This is stapled and stuck, the carpet.
Okay. That's the section that could either house uh, two cans of water or two cans of diesel or just uh, other space to store more things. And we carry neither water nor diesel. That's a safe to safe strong box unit. So coming to you from inside of the car now. It's starting to look a lot nicer because the theme inside the car is all black as you can see the roof is black, the seats are black and now my sleeping platform and the drawer that is going to come in here they're all going to be black and of course the fridge is going to continue being the same color as it is. Uh, that's the fridge and this is where we're going to fill in the other box. There we go, it's starting to take shape. Bringing in the uh, picnic table stand. It's going to be well about the wheel arch. Of course there's a lot more to cover up with the carpet. Slow and steady. That's the uh, slider and railings for the fridge. And we want to take it and use it in the camp. It moves out and it gets locked. There's another kind of slider that actually brings the fridge lower uh, at a lower level, uh, more expensive, so we didn't quite get that. One. So now we're <clears throat> fitting in the other piece. This is the alignment of all of these are going to be the difficult part. And at the same time, we're ensuring that there is no movement when the car is on bumps. And so we're securing all of this uh, to each other and, and to the body of the car. So now we've placed the uh, strong box into where it's supposed to be and that uncarpeted piece is now starting to jut out a little bit so we need to find a thinner piece of wood that'll fit. Same thing with this. Uh, this is what it looks like, uh, neatly assembled. There's still a little bit of work left. Uh, the drawer system has to come in. Uh, that's where the, uh, the either water cans or diesel cans, that's the uh, strong box, the picnic table sitting nicely in its perch, the fridge of course, everything revolved around the fridge, and a little bit of uh, housekeeping. These uh, color carpets, at least what's going to be seen outside will all be black, although the inside is a little gray. Uh, we ran out of material there wasn't enough in the store we bought it at we in fact bought everything they had so well that's what it looks like a little neat that platform there when not sleeping can be used to store personal luggage or the other things that we need to during our travel it's a lot of storage down here that will also be used the drawer systems coming through something coming in the way of the sliders which is not supposed to be so there is a technical problem Kelsey be getting its wash before he goes off on a journey before she goes off on a journey So this car, what do you think about this car? What do you think about this car? Tell us the truth. Whatever you think about this car, we are scared. Why are we scared? I mean, suddenly we have never seen this car. And I didn't know how to study it, so I didn't know how to study it. That's why. 
तो अभी क्या लग रहा है अभी अच्छा लग रहा है अभी ठीक लग रहा है वॉच नहीं करने वाले थे अभी हमने वॉच किया बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका चेहरा तो देखने लायक था ये मैं कहूँ So the moment they heard that uh, <coughs> this car was involved with migrant relief work, they're giving me a free car wash. They said, "Sir, this is the least we can do. These guys are from Assam, UP, and thereabouts. So always a good deed comes back to you in some time, in some way. Thank you, universe. Gulfi, getting ready." to do her all india drive promoting organ donation awareness her golf is looking squeaky clean it's been a while since she's had a little what do you call that a pampering but after this i'm not sure when she's going to get a real real wash again andar lagao She got an engine washed, and now she's got a little diesel all over her, and they're going to now blow it all away with all the muck. The diesel is going to just corrode all the muck and make her brand spanking new inside. Like I said, I have no idea when she's going to have this kind of treatment next. And here's my new baby. So Gulf is almost ready to take on this big large journey. Hopefully around around India but definitely the out to the Himalayas and back giving away warm clothes doing uh, organ donation sessions. She will now be in my home for a while starting in a couple of days. And the gift of life adventure foundation has begun. At least we've loaded our cars. We've got some of our stickers on. We still need some stickers. And then we've got our warm clothing loaded. Underneath that is our recovery gear and all these cardboard boxes are ready to eat upma, biryani, paneer masala or whatever else that Indigo Airlines serves up in their flight and thanks to somebody through somebody to somebody we've got some leftovers of course the drawer system is now totally packed this is our countertop this is where the cooking and the stove and everything else would would fit in uh, once the stove comes in today and what's inside the stove will come in this blank space and all the other things that we would need in terms of uh, survival for the for the guardy like oil puncture kits and uh, of course the fridge and this is our well packed picnic table now I just need to find some space for my personal belongings we have no space for my personal uh, belongings and that's a problem so we've got to now figure out what else to do I'm gonna... 